Millions of Americans planning to hit the road or take to the skies over the Labor Day weekend. Just ahead of the holiday, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention urging the unvaccinated not to travel and for the vaccinated to weigh the risk. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks live now in Salt Lake City with more on this story. Haley. Well, Glenn, while well, some are opting out of this holiday travel, that's not the case for everyone as our road and uh, air officials still anticipate high volumes of travelers. Now, as so many people are getting out and about during this current surge in COVID-19 cases, some of our top health officials tell me they're concerned. The Delta variant is causing coronavirus cases to surge across the country. People need to take their own, these risks into their own consideration as they think about traveling. And another major holiday weekend is just ahead. That is a concern. And the more you travel, the more likely you are to come in contact with someone who is positive and may not know it. Data from Arrivalist reports Labor Day travel is predicted to be slightly down, but millions are still expected to head out of town despite high transmission rates across the country. Yes, we have neighboring states that have uh, case counts going up, but beware also we have fairly low vaccination rates in some of these pockets. While many will travel across state lines, Dr. Emily Spivak with the University of Utah Health says traveling in the state can still be a risk. You know, even within Utah, if you travel from Summit County to maybe the Tri-County area or somewhere else, you're going from a, a fairly highly vaccinated place to a relatively unvaccinated place. And to best protect yourself and others, she encourages everyone to mask up regardless of your vaccination status. And we really just need to all do this for each other. And so as people travel, I'd really encourage them to mask. Um, and if you haven't made an appointment for a vaccine, make it. Try and get one dose before you go. If not, when you get back. After every holiday since the pandemic began, Dr. Spivak tells me the number of people who get sick with COVID-19 always increases, but this Labor Day could lead to a much more rapid increase in cases as the Delta variant's transmissibility is much greater. Reporting live in Salt Lake County, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Haley. Well, if you're taking to the skies, the Salt Lake City International Airport is anticipating more than 25,000 travelers coming through its doors this Friday. And if you have plans to drive somewhere, the Utah Department of Transportation is advising you be prepared for road delays. The Biden administration saying it flew nearly